King Abdullah Economic City, KAEC, is a mega project announced in 2005 by King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the former king of Saudi Arabia. Located on the coast of the Red Sea, 100 kilometers north of Jeddah, King Abdullah Economic City is one of four new cities being created in Saudi Arabia to promote industrial expansion, diversify its economy away from oil, and provide housing and job opportunities for a young population, 65% of which are under the age of 30. Centered on a new port, the goal of KAEC is to become a global logistics and manufacturing hub. Through its industrial valley, KAEC seeks to develop sectors including logistics, fast-moving consumer goods, plastics, automotive, building materials, and pharmaceuticals. KAEC's goals of being socially and culturally sustainable can be seen in its most recent master plan, which promotes public transportation, walking, and cycling rather than cars. Rather than canals, KAEC has prioritized a wadi system that uses the landscape and natural plants to manage flood. Would you like more facts about this city? Well, you'll hear the rest of the story in a few minutes. Welcome to the Apex Channel. All you have to do is to turn on the notification to be notified when a new video is ready for watching, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. After you do this, get comfortable in your favorite armchair and the video continues. Are you ready? Here we go. The city, along with another five economic cities, is part of an ambitious 10 by 10 program to place Saudi Arabia among the world's top 10 competitive investment destinations by the year 2010, planned by Sagia. With a total development area of 173 square kilometers, the city is located along the coast of the Red Sea, around 100 kilometers north of Jeddah, the commercial hub of Saudi Arabia. The city is also approximately an hour and 20 minutes away from the city of Mecca, two hours from Medina by car, and an hour away from all Middle Eastern capital cities by plane. The total cost of the city is around 207 billion SR, with the project being built by MR Properties. A Tatawul listed company was created from MR Properties, a Dubai-based public joint stock company and one of the world's largest real estate companies, and Sagia, Saudi Arabian General Investment Authority, which is the main facilitator of the project. The first stage of the city was completed in 2010 and the whole city was planned to be fully completed by 2020. The city aims to diversify the nation's oil-based economy by bringing direct foreign and domestic investments. The city also aspires to help create up to 1 million jobs. Upon completion, KAEC is intended to have a population of 2 million. By 2018, it only had a population of 7,000. The port of the city is part of the Maritime Silk Road that runs the Chinese coast via the Suez Canal to the Mediterranean, there to the upper Adriatic region of Trieste with its connections to Central and Eastern Europe. King Abdullah visited the city and evaluated the progress in 2008. Some of the proposed projects in the city included Columbia University, Science and Research Complex, Healthcare City, Thunderbird University, KAEC Media City, Environment Protection Center, Ethra, the Smart City, the Cadre Technical City, Total Oil Factory, Holiday Inn Express Hotel, and Ritz-Carlton Hotel and Resort. But that's not all. While much of the public focus has been on Dubai's eye-catching proposed futuristic offerings, the KAEC has a trick up its sleeve. It may soon be home to the Hyperloop. The high-tech tube-based ultra-fast passenger and freight transportation system is currently in development. As a result of a partnership between California-based Virgin Hyperloop One and the Saudi Economic City Authority to study the possibility, KAEC may be the site of the world's longest test and certification track, as well as an R&D center and a Hyperloop manufacturing facility. Importantly, the fact that Virgin Hyperloop One is building ties with the nearby King Abdullah University of Science and Technology means that KAEC may play a very important part in making the technology a reality. Yes, everything is great, but there are still some challenges. Saudi Arabia's climate poses a challenge to KAEC. Summer temperatures can pass 40 degrees Celsius, which means building densely and prioritizing shade is paramount. The lack of water will be an ongoing challenge in KAEC and the region more broadly. The severe annual flooding also poses a challenge, which the Wadi landscape design is intended to mitigate. Ensuring that services such as wireless coverage and transport provided by partners and suppliers are affordable to the end customer is an ongoing challenge. While foreigners are eligible to purchase property in KAEC, 
it is still difficult to obtain visas to enter the country. The situation is currently being negotiated with the Saudi government. We can't wait to go and visit this wonderful city. What about you? Would you go and visit it? There's a comment section below, so feel free to share your thoughts with us there. Drop us a like and share the video if you enjoyed it today. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's it for today. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you again soon.